Quite often in AutoCAD electrical drawings, you want to build what they call a parent-child relationship with certain schematic components. Typical examples are a motor and then the motor starter contact that would be used to actually start the motor up in the circuit. We're staying in Demo 12 project and we're still in drawing Demo 02. Make sure that you're in your schematic tab here on the ribbon. Now, in the drawing itself, you can see the pilot lights that we've added here. What we're going to do is we're going to add a three-phase motor to the end of this wire here, and then we're going to put the starter motor contact in and build a parent-child relationship between the two. It's very, very easy to do because a lot of it is parametric and automated. You don't have to worry about the links in the database in the project behind the drawing. AutoCAD Electrical does that for you. So what we do, we go up to the icon menu here in the Insert Components panel. Click here, Icon Menu. Now you'll notice I've already looked at a three-phase motor and a three-phase starter contact there. So let's go for the three-phase motor first, and we'll bring that in, and I'm just going to add this to the end of this wire here, like so. That goes in, and the component tag becomes MOT104. So that's our motor tag. I'm not going to put any other data in. I'm just going to click on OK. And that goes into the drawing right there. You can see it there. Now, what you might want to do there is click on that motor, right click, and then attributes here. And we're going to move the attribute. We're going to click on the MOT 104, right click or enter to confirm, pick a base point. I'm just going to move that over. Let's place it just underneath there. It just then avoids any confusion with those numbers going down that ladder to the right there, 118, 119, and so on. So I'll press Enter to finish, so that's done. So there's our motor in place. If I go back to the icon menu over here on the left, you'll notice I've got a three-phase starter contact. NO stands for normally open. So I click on that there, and I'm going to place that in the same wire as my three-phase motor. So when I click there like that, it prompts me now, do I want to build up or down? Now that means, do I want to build these contacts up or down from this wire here? I'm going to go up, because then it will link into here, into this multiple bus wiring. You'll see everything start to update. Do we want to insert or edit the child component? Well, of course we do. We want to point out where the parent component is. So I go to parent sibling here, and then I zoom in. I'm just going to pan a bit here as well. I'm going to select the MOT104. The child's contact family code is different from what is on the parent, and it is. Because I've gone for a motor contact, it's just an M, whereas the MOT comes from the motor. Now, I want it to be the new one, the MOT, so I click on OK, and you'll see now that the tag is now MOT104, the same as the motor. So what I've done now is I've built that relationship between the motor as the parent and the motor contact as the child. That's the parent-child relationship that we're building up. So when I click on OK now, everything I'll update in the project it takes a few seconds, and you'll see there, MOT 104, 104, 104, 104. So there's the parent object, which in this case, the component is the motor, and then the motor contacts that start up the motor are related back to that as the child. So these are now linked in the database in the AutoCAD electrical project as a parent and a child. So you can link these things together so that when this is being installed as an installation, people know what links to what in your AutoCAD electrical drawings.